Okay, in today's episode, we're going to make chalk paint with calcium carbonate. If you are keeping track of the purposeful art projects that I do, you notice that I make a concerted effort to find non-toxic solutions to creating craft projects. And um, one of the non-toxic solutions to making your own chalk paint was to use um, two part paint to one part calcium carbonate. And this, even though um, I got this from Salvaged Inspirations, and she indicated this was the most expensive option but gave the best quality look. However, I purchased this, you know, organic calcium carbonate from Azure Standard, um, uh, health food co-op I'm a part of. And it really was about eight bucks for 50 pounds. So I suppose if you buy it in larger quantities, you might get a <laughs> much cheaper price. But I thought that was pretty good for um, something for making paint with. So here's the calcium carbonate, and you only need one part of this. And here is some mixed paint that I used. I'm mixing uh, apple barrel paints together to come up with um, two-thirds cup which I got a little under. I got more like a, I went to a half a cup of paint this time. So I got a half a cup of paint. So I'm going to do, an, it's a little over half a cup. So I'm I'm going to use um, like a half of a half a cup, which is like a quarter cup, a little bit over that. But anyway, this is how much I'm going to use of the calcium carbonate. And so I'm going to mix this together. Um, now, one of the things I plan on doing when I'm done with these projects that I'm, I'm doing here is um, I actually plan on putting together a lesson plan to show families how they could do these color projects as well as sharing color theory, how to get colors that they, they're, they're, they're trying to achieve with their kids. I think my main goal, but most importantly, in the lessons that I do, I also plan to incorporate scriptures. And so it's a it's a full lesson plan from creating your own paint to learning about colors, primary colors, secondary colors, tertiary colors, and how you re how you get them. And um, hearing what the Bible has to say about colors and um, the settings in which we see colors used, such as the rainbow, um, that Noah's Ark. Well, not Noah's Ark, but that Noah, the rainbow that God put in the sky for us. That would be a constant reminder that he would not, again, destroy the earth by flood. So, um, you know, I'm going to have some biblical lessons that you can incorporate in your lesson, in your craft activities that you do as a family. And just some optional things that you can include in that, along with rubrics and how you can use it, like... Um, because once you make the paint, now you got to have something to put the paint on. So then that gets you to making ceramics, um, paper arts, um, uh, recycled um, cans and glasses and so forth. So it's so much you can do. I mean, making paint is just the beginning. It's just the tip of the iceberg for this process. And um, my next episode, I will actually be painting something with this chalk paint that I made. I'm really just using the paint that I already had, but I got to admit that um, I got blue now and I have green. This is my first one that's done using calcium carbonate as opposed to using um, baking soda. And so I'll take my time once I've actually had a chance to paint with both so I can tell you which one I prefer. Although the pictures indicate that this does make a very nice, um, clean lines for your art project. So um, if it stays true to that, um, if I'm keeping proper track of my ratios, then that's going to be ideal. To use. 
So as you can see, it's definitely matted and it's quite thick, quite thick. Which is actually a feature I like about chalk paint. I like its thickness. Okay, so we're done. That is my chalk paint. Um, if I had some essential oils nearby, I would have put some lemon in here. I may do that later. But anyway, um, that's it so far. And I um, haven't quite decided what I would put this on yet. It's still in the air. But the only thing left for me to do is to name it. And I don't really have a, I don't know, kind of reminds me of um, something I've seen in the ocean. Maybe I call it Sea Breeze Green. Anyway. So that's my paint for today. That's my red paint project that I have completed. And um, I hope you'll do something, you know, paint wise with the kids, whether you do this or something else. Um, I think it's important to teach. There's so many lessons you can teach in, in painting, um, even in this process. You know, the importance of doing things according to recipe, according to pattern. And I've got to admit, I am not the best at doing that myself. but. Um, it's important to do things according to pattern and to have a pattern. And if the pattern that you have isn't working, to find one that does. But um, most importantly, the lessons that you can teach biblically about that, you know, that God has patterns. Just like there's a recipe. A recipe is a pattern. It's how things ought to be done so that you can get a consistent result. And that's really how our faith is operated. It, it's, we consistently obey what the father tells us to do and we produce consistent results as a matter of obedience so i encourage you to create something today to um, do that which connects you to your father whether it's music whether it's arts and crafts whether it's clothes making whether it's gardening no matter what it is you like to get your hands into that um you do it for the lord and you do it with purpose in mind. That is the end of the session for today for Purpose for Art. And I just hope that it has encouraged you and blessed you.